You're listening to the Electronic Media Collective Podcast Network. Yeah, it's a mouthful. For more great shows like the one you're about to enjoy, visit electronicmediacollective.com. And now, our feature presentation. Hello and welcome to Comics with My Kids, the official podcast for the comicscornerbox.blogspot.com. I'm your host, Matt D, and with me today is... Logan D. All right, today we are talking about our adventures at the Northwest Indiana Comic Con. So, Logan, what did you think of the Comic Con? I liked how they had a lot of vendors there. I also liked how it was close to us. And I also liked how they had... um different things going on throughout the day. What were some of the cool things that, you, that went out through the day that you liked? We did a trivia. Yeah? And we placed third. That's right, we did. What part of the trivia did you like? Did you like the the books, the movies, the TV? I liked the movies because I actually knew one that Mom did it. Oh, well, yeah. We did win third place. We got some cool some cool stuff, didn't we? Yeah. So we ended up getting a stack of books from um, Jason Brubaker and Rick Rickdale called Shapes. We also got a vinyl pop. Which one was that? It was a dead strange. It's one the Doctor Strange possessed the dead body and had the spirits. From the Doctor Strange movie. Yeah. So is there any cool people you got to talk to or see or, or uh, get a chance to, to meet? I got to talk to Art Balthazar and buy a few of his comics. Cool. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the comics you got? Uh, so I bought action well, we bought Action Cat and Adventure Book, as well as Weber the Spider Monkey. We don't have to go in depth into Action Cat and Adventure Bug, but what did you think of that comic? Um, it kind of reminds me of Superman. But uh, the in, there's this one comic shop, and uh, all the workers there ha- are superheroes, but they don't know it. So uh, Adventure Cat and Adventure Bug know each other as superheroes, uh, because there's three people who work there. Adventure Cat works there undercover, and whenever a problem is, then um, they say they have to go. So they leave, and then they um, change into their costume to go save the day. And um, if the store owner notices uh, Adventure Cat and um, Adventure Bug in trouble, then he gets into his costume as Adventure Bear. Cool. You know what else I thought was kind of neat about Adventure Cat? Hmm. Is that um, it's by All Yeah Comics. And Art ha- Art Balthazar has his own comic shop in Skokie, Illinois, and he centers the uh, the comic shop in the in the book on in Skokie, Illinois. So I there's a lot of he draws himself. Yeah, it is kind of kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, his self portraits. Those are cool. Cool. And what I noticed about his art in the third book is in the background you could see realistic things, but the characters were, had Art Balthazar technique. What kind of tech? What, what technique do you mean by that? He had this like cartoony character technique. Cool. Uh, any, anybody else that you met or uh, want to talk about? I only talked to one guy. Okay. You talked to everyone else. Well, since I apparently talked to everybody there, I do want to talk about a cool book I picked up. I'm looking forward to reading. See? I think you might like it. It's by uh, Jean Ha. Uh, it's called May. And it's uh, kind of a portal story in which May's sister gets sucked into a portal and goes to another world, kind of like uh, the Wizard of Oz. And she spent several years there. And one day she shows back up in uh, northwest Indiana in her, in her hometown. And her sister has to pick her up at the police station. And she explains, hey, um, where have you been? And her sister basically says, well, I've been in this other world. And she's even dressed in these weird clothes. And next thing you know, uh, they have to head back to that other world because the monsters are coming into our own world. So it's an interesting book. Um, I, um, wonder, I wonder if he's going to make another book like about um, May's sister when she's in that portal place. Well, yeah, that's what this, this whole book is about. No, no, no. When she was there, like a background story. Yeah. A it's, prequel. It's in here. It's kind of told in the time travel format. I haven't completely read it yet, but yeah. And then there was also uh, an opportunity to check out, like I said, all of the vendors. There was some really cool artists, a lot of local artists from the Chicagoland area, particularly uh, Rob Hogan. 
we ended up uh, buying a painting off of him, beautiful painting. I'll actually have it in the show notes if you want to take a look at it. And his art style is very uh, superhero or sci-fi pop culture orientated, but he also takes like very classic looking paintings and converts them to, to uh, with some modern spin to it. Oh yeah, and there's a few other creators that we've talked to, like or I talked to like Steve Palencia, um, Dr. Solo, Tim Seeley, and all these gentlemen. I'm I'm going to try to get on a, a future episode of Comics My Kids so we can talk about their books and what they do and uh, you know how they bring comic books to kids. Anything else you want to add, buddy? Any cool books or anything that you liked from the from the con? Oh, we got the original. Uh, Fantastic Four, the first ten issues, for under a million dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, the form factor. So Marvel Comics has been making these things called the Mighty Marvel Masterworks. They're a smaller form factor, which means they're a smaller size, but they they collect like ten issues of the classic series from the nineteen sixties. Uh, so it's you don't have to go through back issue diving and spend thousands of dollars on the old back issues, or you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on these huge reprints. They're just the cute, small size uh, books that are great for reading, whether you're an adult or a kid. And like I said, it's the classic stuff. So, stuff that Stanley and Jack Kirby wrote. We got uh, Fantastic and Four, Mighty, Mighty Marvel Masterwork. It would be good for young and old, as long as the young people like a lot of words. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's written back in the 60s, so there's a lot of words. Very wordy. Well, I think that's all I have for questions for you, Logan. Let's see if we can, uh, I'll, I'll get a, a chance to talk to your sister and see what she thought of the Comic-Con. All right, and now Melody D is with me talking about what she thought of the Northwest Indiana Comic-Con. All right, Millie, so what did you like best about the Northwest Indiana Comic-Con? Well, what I liked most, I don't, I don't know if you guys mentioned it already, but was that huge painting we got. Yes, the painting by Rob. I think Hogan. it's pretty. Um, I think it's pretty cool how if you shine the light on it, it'll um, make all those different colors on it. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, because it has that. He he did a nice little embellishment with black light paint. So when you shine a light on it, it it kind of glows. So again, I'll try putting up a picture of it in our show notes. Or the picture of the sticker. Either one's better. Yeah, either way. I also like the costumes. Yeah. I mean, it was still um, pretty cool about everything else, but I mainly did like for the costumes, uh, someone dressed up as Jinx, if you don't know who Jinx is. Um, I recently, um, recently there was a Just Dance 2023 that came out, and they had a character <laughs> called Jinx in it, and I like the music that she um, dances in. Oh, okay. And I thought it was pretty cool how someone dressed up like her in the Comic-Con. That was pretty cool. Is there any other cool costumes that you saw? I don't know. Wednesday? Didn't we see a couple Wednesday Adams out in there? Yeah, but the problem was they smiled. You can't smile when you're Wednesday. <laughs> That's okay. They're there having Besides, fun. Besides, I still think the Jenny Ortega one's better. Yeah. So are there any? is there any books you're looking forward to reading from uh, the Northwest Indian Comic Con? Probably those comics that we got. Not the um, Bulletproof Chicken, but the other ones. And these right here? Oh. <laughs> Here's some Spider Monkey. Webster Spider Monkey. So yeah, have you had a chance to read it yet? Nope. But the cool thing is, um, these are by El Alt Belthazar. Yep. And um, he wasn't supposed to have these for like a couple of months. And since we went to the Comic Con and saw him, I think it's pretty cool that we were able to get these. Yeah, we got advanced copies of these two books, Webster the Spider Monkey. We got number zero and one, I think. Yep. Why do they have zeros in comic books? Just so weird. Okay. It's supposed to be like the precursor, the prelude before the actual. Okay, comic. we get it. But yeah, he's direct publishing these. Uh, Webster yeah. the Spider Monkey. Whereas a lot of his other oh yeah comics are coming from Dark Horse Publications. These he's printing them. He's publishing them himself as oh yeah comics, which I think is really cool. The other cool things I thought were cool was um, we went to this one booth. Where they had stickers there, and they had a Xenomorph sticker. Yeah. I think Xenomorph was from Alien. Yep. Right? Yeah. I still thought it was pretty cool. And they had a couple ones with jokes on them. What was the one thing you didn't like about the con? I don't know. Not much. Not much? Well, that's good. 
I mm. also just liked it. Good, I'm glad. Although I was kind of mad that I didn't see a Squishmallow section until Logan walked by it. What's a Squishmallow? Yes, just stuck in there. So you like a lot of the cool vendors. Was there any other vendors that you liked? I'm trying to think of I liked how we um, had saw that Harry Potter one and how they had made the cups and potions there. Oh, yeah. Cool. I believe that was... Uh, Hogwarts. Yeah, I want to say that there was a, a dead... Dead Girls Decor, which had a I'm bunch of cool sure. mugs it's... and stuff. Anything else new or cool that you want to talk about? I still think the stickers are pretty cool. Um, I think there was something else we had looked at. Oh, yeah. I had got a glow-in-the-dark button. I thought that was pretty cool because uh, this one girl was selling buttons. And um, she homemade them. And she put, like, glow-in-the-dark stickers on them. I also liked the stand next to her had cool comic books that I noticed were cool because I don't know if um, anyone else has seen the Doctor Who series um, for the 13th Doctor. But um, they had one of the characters on the cover of it for comic books. Cool. And I'm pretty sure they were Doctor Who comic books. That's why they were there. But... Do you happen to remember what the booth was called? I don't remember. Okay, no problem. Well, I think no that... Pit. Oh, sorry, that's not the name. I think that pretty much wraps it up for our coverage of the Northwest Indiana Comic Con. I want to thank all of the people that we ran into. Uh, Tim Seeley, Gene Ha, uh, Rob Hogan, um, Art, of course, Art Balthazar. Art Balthazar. And I want to thank you for listening to our show. This has been Comics with My Kids. I'm Matt D. with Melody D. and Logan D. As we've covered the Northwest Indiana Comic Con. If you're interested in attending a future show for the Northwest Indiana Comic Con, check out their Facebook page at the NWI Comic Con or check out their website, the NWIComicCon.com. And if you've enjoyed this show and want to hear other episodes, check us out at our Facebook page, the Comics Corner Box slash Comics with My Kids Check out our website, thecomicscornerbox.blogspot.com, or follow us on Twitter at Comics with the Kids. Thank you, and have a good night. So my marshmallow thing. So my um, what place where I got my marshmallows? If you're interested in trying some of the cool flavors that they got, they are um, I remember them saying they are at a couple of runs, which you could probably check um out where they're at. There, it's kind of like a comic con, but like for the races. So um, the place would be called Greek Goodies. I got. Like Geek. Uh, Greek. Geek. Geeky goodies. And um, it's a 